Okay, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Live to Fish Outboard Repair. I've got this uh, 1970 85 Horace Johnson uh, two stroke. Uh, it's got the controls. I got, it's a push button hydro electric shift, is what it's called. Um, so I've worked on a few of the, uh, the older ones, 1966 uh, electromatic shifts, but never never this one. So this is going to be a little bit of a uh, challenge to me. <laughs> um, I bought this off a guy kind of like uh, without even trying to start it. I, I took a chance on it. Um, he tells me he's got uh, compression values on the cylinder heads, 90, uh, 100. I believe it's uh, 90 and 93. And I think those are actually fairly good numbers for this vintage. So I'm gonna recheck the compression. Um, also, uh, to just see if I've got spark. Uh, the only thing missing off this that I can see on this whole engine is this cover that goes over here. And I think I can purchase one of those from reengine.com. I believe they have one. Or they've got a few in stock anyway. And. Uh, Kind of worries me about this. This is called a Motorola uh, 12 volt amplifier. And I didn't notice this when I bought it, but there's a couple of wires that look like they've been cut. So I've got to, I've got to see if it's got spark. If not, then I'm probably going to have to get one of those if possible. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, you'll see this thing, uh, see if we get spark. That's what we're going to start with. So. kind of surprised. I saw a couple of wires that look like they've been cut to this junction box, but maybe they're not necessary. That doesn't look stock to me. Motorola, I don't know, I looked up the numbers on here and I can't find it on eBay or even on uh, marineengine.com. They don't, it's not stocked as that number for that part, but maybe it's aftermarket. Could be an aftermarket uh, amplifier. But uh, we'll know more after we do compression. And um, see if uh, see if these numbers match what he's what they got. 90 on the top, 93 on the bottom on this side, and then uh, I believe it was 90 and 100. Yeah, 90 and 100 on the bottom. But we'll see. I'll check that and verify. Um, let me make sure my, my plugs are grounded though.
I mean, more consistent at 125. And I got 125 the last time I checked it with this. I'll leave both numbers on there. I'm not sure which one's more correct or more accurate. It doesn't make sense to me at all. So you gauge. About 120, about 120, and now it's bleeding down from there. So I'm going to write one, 120 on here. Because I like it though, it doesn't mean I should use it. <laughs> but, uh, see what I got? These were, this one was 100. Bottom cylinder, starboard side. Again, about 15 to pounds different. 15. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got compression, we got spark. And now all we need is fuel. And this baby just might fire up. firing. The ignition system works. That's all good news. Now these are gapless type spark plugs. So, let's see. Um, it's Champion spark plug L76V. I'll have to look those up and see if that's the correct spark plug. L76V. Now, 
Now I guess the next thing I want to do is the, uh, the lower unit. Check the lower unit. Oil. See if there's any water in it. So. Well, let's do the bottom one first and then we'll see if there's any. Pretty good. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like that. Uh, it's also it looks like the correct oil, um, the premium Johnson outboard oil that's required for this for the electromatics um, or hydro electromatic. <clears throat> so that is good. No water, that I can see. washer that goes on these bolts. They're both in the hole. Pressure test now with the mini vac. I got 11 pounds in there. I'll come back in uh, maybe half an hour, see what happens. Do a, uh, a uh, vacuum test and see what that turns out to be like. So I'll be back. That's why it's been moved, but uh, in doing so, I don't think it lost any pressure. It's at 10, I think it was at 11. Might have bumped that a little bit, but uh, it's been probably half an hour or so, and uh, looks like the seals are good, at least on the vacuum, or the uh, pressure side. I'll give it a try on the, va on the uh, vacuum and see what happens. I'm gonna have to turn this. That makes it vacuum. The vacuum test seemed to check out okay, so stay tuned for part two, and we'll uh, fill it up with oil and uh, see if she can if she'll shift uh, in neutral and forward and reverse, and then maybe we can tank test it at that point. So thanks for watching.